I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth I knew not where, for so swiftly it flew the sight, could not follow in its flight. Villager? What villager? <laughs> uh, I didn't see any villager. You saw nothing. I'm out of here. Hello, my fellow noobsters. It's me, Texas PK, and I just came from our storage building where I was gathering the last few minutes resources that we might need for our build today uh, but in between episodes I did a little work with villagers doing the zombie curing and getting the best traits possible for all of our important villagers here in town I already had done all the librarians that I needed and the tool and weaponsmiths and armor back in our foundry back there uh, but I went ahead and did some more so let me go ahead and show you all the new villagers we've moved in since then over here in our apothecary we have a cleric that I got all cured up to where he gives us rotten flesh one emerald for one rotten flesh it's pretty good hey how you doing also can get all the different potions and redstone dust and things like that that he can give us all for really good trades in our leather shop i went ahead and got a leather worker and put him in here well let's see he might be out back i left it to where he could yep he's not in here i left it to where he could go outside if he wanted to but still be kept safe because we are using all the different fence gates yep, yeah he's working on a project and I did this partially so they can't escape but also to keep them safe from different zombies and other things that might be wandering around over here in our butcher shop is our last stop for today and uh, we're gonna pick up some stuff that we need that's gonna be kind of important after our build is done but hmm, where's our where's our butcher uh, he's not in there let's go see if he's outside too no where did he Oh my goodness, he is a uh, stealthy little guy, isn't he? He must have been over there in the meat locker. At any rate, so he's working hard, and so that'll be all good. But like I said, we came over here for something important, and to see what it is, it's up in the attic. When we come up here, you can see that we have a sorting system for our butcher shop, and in the overflow chest is what we're looking for today. Feathers. That's right, we get a ton of feathers fed into our butcher's shop from our automatic chicken cooker. We have nearly a double chest filled of feathers, which is great news. Now, you might be wondering why a double chest of feathers is good news. Well, let me tell you. Feathers equal emeralds. That's right, the Fletcher Villager trades emeralds for feathers. And so we're going to be building a Fletcher's house today. I want to give a shout out to Matt Steele, who in the comment section of our last video left the suggestion of building a Fletcher's house so we can do a trade with him, giving him all our feathers for tons of emeralds. And since we have feathers for days, we'll have more emeralds than we know what to do with. So let me go ahead and show you what the layout is going to look like for our Fletcher's house. Over here is the main structure of the building. I have an idea that's going to make it look pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be where our Fletcher lives and work, and so we want it to look nice. Over here is going to be the work area where he can put together the bows and the arrows and all those great things. And here behind the building will be kind of a, an archery range or a target practice area. It's where they can try out their wares. Now as we expanding our city out in this direction, putting in more and more buildings out this way, we need to expand the road as well. And so I've added in a bit of that here. And as you can see, I've gone and put some torches underneath the road. Now I don't know if this feature is unique to Bedrock Edition, but if you place a torch underneath a partial slab, it will let the light shine through. That way you can have lighting that keeps your area safe but you don't have to spam torches everywhere. You can just kind of hide them out of sight, but still have them light up the area. And as the sun's going down, you can see how well lit this road is, and I didn't have to spam a lot of torches. Well, there's some off there in the distance, but eventually those will get hidden as well. Well, it's about time for us to start getting building, but before we do, I just wanted to say again, thanks Matt Steele for the great idea. And thanks to everyone else who may have left a comment, whether it's here in our Let's Play world or one of the tutorials. I really do appreciate all the comments people leave. It, it's really kind of fun to see the interaction as you're watching the videos, and I appreciate the fact that y'all enjoy them. 
So if you have any cool ideas, make sure you leave them down below. And make sure you hit subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with all the builds we'll be doing as our city continues to grow. But it is nighttime, so I better go to sleep. And when I get up, we'll go ahead and get started with the build. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the time lapse. With that, our build is done, and I think it turned out pretty good. So let me go ahead and give you a tour, and I'll show you around our Fletcher's house. When we come around to the front, we can see all the neat little details we put in there. Different layers of fence gates and fence posts, a little overhang over our window in the upper area. Uh, also some campfires that I put out the fire on to help make kind of a, a porch covered area here in front of the house. Uh, also plenty of lighting and different various brick textures using the stone brick walls, uh, so cobblestone, cracked stone, all those really cool textures just to kind of make it interesting on the outside. Of course there's a sign out here to let us know what this shop is selling. When we come inside you can see that I also put in a fence gate to help keep our villagers safe from any, uh, I don't know, any zombies or any other hostile mobs that might be coming along. Also to help keep them from escaping. I uh, put in a little bit of shelves here on the wall and some lighting. And of course our storage, you can see I've already moved in all these feathers. We have nearly two full chests. And if you were paying attention during our time lapse, you know where that uh, lead came from. <coughs> we, we won't talk about that. Uh, here's our work area for our Fletchers. I'm probably going to move a second Fletcher's table in here and bring in a second Fletcher. Here's a bow and an arrow for them to be working on. And of course, we always need to have a workbench available. Oh, and here is a nice little flower on a shelf that we have here, just to kind of make it kind of homey and nice. Uh, let me go ahead and close that so it'll be safe. And here is our shooting range. I think it turned out pretty good. And here we can just come in and grab our bow and arrow and do a little practice shooting on the range. I'm a little off. Well, with some practice, I'll get a little better. With that, let's go ahead and move our Fletcher Villager in. I already got them all ready and cured up. So now it's just a matter of moving them in. Oh, there he is, ready to go.
there we go and with that he's all moved in so let's go ahead and do a little trading with some of the feathers and also maybe heal up some of our tools here uh, yep we've got one feather f per emerald zombie curing is kind of busted it makes this so good up oh, maxed out and I even can get some power two bows. Uh, and if you combine them in an anvil, you can eventually get it up to full maxed out power. I also have arrows of weakness. All I need is some arrows and one emerald, and I have an unlimited supply of these arrows. That's kind of cool, too. All my zombie curing, I don't have to make any more potions. I can just buy them straight from our Fletcher. And I'm pretty happy with that. But I'd also like to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section down below. And with that, I think we're going to call it a day. So I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you did, make sure you do all those things you're supposed to do. And I hope to see you again in the next one. But until then, this is Texas PK. Be good to each other. Bye. <laughs>